Hey, good morning everyone. Thursday the 13th of June 2024. This morning's devotional is a reading from Joshua chapter 9, reading verse 14, and it reads, The men of Israel sampled their provisions, but did not inquire of the Lord. When we are about to make a major decision or any decision, not a decision of what you want to wear in the morning kind of decision, who do we ask for advice and guidance? I guess for many it would be a case of fly by the seat of your pants, or even others would say, well, everyone else is doing it, so let's, let's do this, let's go with their decision. The scene set before us today is one of the city I that had been defeated after the Israelites' second attempt. Remember, their first attempt failed and they were routed by the enemy because of Achan's sin. And because of his sin, a number of his fellow countrymen perished in this battle. So now they went the second time after they'd inquired of the Lord. The first time they didn't inquire of the Lord and had they done that, they would have found out Achan's sin before they went into battle. Israel had also received the explicit instruction from God that when they entered the promised land, they were to purge the land of all evil. So the stories of Israel's successors were circulating and the people of the land were fearful of them. It was also this fear of the Israelites that caused the people of the land to try and attack Israel or devise schemes to fool them. And this is where the Gibeonites come in with their crafty scheme. So in a nutshell, and I would encourage you to read the story in Joshua chapter 9, they sent it, a delegation to Israel to convince them that they didn't pose any threat, that they come from a city far away. They dressed to fit the pot. They wore old clothes, worn out broken sandals. The bread was old, hard and moldy. The wineskins were dry and broken. So at a quick glance would say, shame, these guys have really come from a long way. The Israelite leaders questioned them and sampled their provisions and based on their decision, entered into a treaty with the enemy the Gibeonites, something that God had told them not to do as this would have been their downfall. Only after the treaty was made did the Israelites discover that they had been fooled and could not take any drastic action against the Gibeonites because of their oath that they had made with them. <laughs> My dear friends, many if not all of us have had the wool pulled over our eyes at some stage in life thinking that we had all the facts about something and only later to discover that we were misled. I guess a modern day word for that would be scammed. I think that's more appropriate if you ask me. So let us always seek the counsel of God. We're making any decision and let us avoid being scammed at all costs. May the Lord be with you, may he bless you, may he cause his face to shine upon you and be with you always. Goodbye.